Hey, wonderful people, welcome back. Now, you all know that for a few years I've had one of these. This is a Velo Solex. It's a light run around motorbike built after World War II. Tiny 45cc engine. You don't even need a license. And for many years, they weren't even registered. They were just like a, a motorized bicycle. But today I've got an amazing announcement. I've worked with this company who are called Noel in French. Noel. Noel are based in uh, Paris area. And with the French government, they've electrified a motorbike. I tell you what. First of all, you have to understand why. And that was just one going past. When you live in France, you hear this on a daily basis. But not anymore. Watch this. Dun, 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 dun. Simply switch it on and... Yeah. An electric Solex with a bit of a, um, a rubbing uh, brake that makes it go bonk, bonk, bonk. So how does it work? It's absolutely brilliant. What they did is they replaced the gasoline motor with an electric motor that's in where the magneto was, an electric motor in there, and around at the back, a battery pack, which is removable and goes on the existing Solex rack with a key. And the electronics to run it are all under this plate. But there's something about it that has literally changed my life here in France, has changed my whole Solex experience. And that's something apparently very simple. And that's, yay, I got it registered. Hang on. Yeah. The dreaded petrol motorcycle of France. I managed to get the Solex registered with the French Licensing Authority. So now it is legally drivable on the road with insurance. Yay! And something called a carte grise, which is your registration document. It was impossible to get a registration document for an old motorbike in France. But this isn't an old motorbike. This has been reclassed as an electric bike. So how fabulous. Let's take it out on the road today and give it a spin. It is really fun.
So here I am home. I survived another one, as they say. Um, it doesn't go very fast. My electric bike's a bit faster than this guy. But it's, it's fun. You do have to pedal. When you get ahead of steam, you probably do... I don't know, whatever it is, 30 kilometers an hour maximum, but it also works better when the battery is fully charged. I think right now it's uh, at least two bars down, so it's, uh, it's a bit low. <laughs> but there you go, the electric Velo Solex. <laughs> How much did this all cost? It was a steal. France gave me a grant of over a thousand euros to get it converted and I had to pay about 450. Plus I had to make a fee to the uh, to get a registration document for the license plate. So it's about 500. The only downside, <laughs> Noel, are a really fun company. I really support what they're doing. Well done, Noel. <laughs> but <laughs> maybe it's France rather than them. It took me over a year to actually get the license number and to get an engineer at a local Honda garage who did a great job at taking out the motor and replacing it. Oh, I've got something really special to show you. Let's turn it off. Boop. Thank you, Solex. The original Solex engine you get back, or the internal parts, uh, in a box. Here's my box of bits. And in here is just the most hilarious thing. Here it is. This is the original uh, piston. It's um, 44 millimeters in diameter and the crank. And so if I ever needed to rebuild it, the Honda garage said it was a right pain because there's a main bearing here and it corroded. You can see how, how gnarly it is. But look at that. <laughs> and look at the bike now. All electric. So I'm super pleased. It's really, it's really fun and it's really good to do something both for the noise and for the environment. It's um, no more filling it up with, with uh, dual mix fuel <laughs> at a certain Solex ratio. Gone is the internal combustion engine, and now I have an electric bike. Top Solex driving. <laughs> And here's a bit of Solex nostalgia. This is my original bike running on its petrol motor around the garden and chasing our geese in the winter. Thanks for watching. I like to do lots of different films, whether it's about UAP, whether it's making things on my lathe, having fun living here in France, and of course, working on rusty old junk as Musty would say. Thanks for being wonderful viewers.